Welcome to Fish Fry and Fridays, where every Friday during the Lenten season, we'll be traveling to a different Nebraska community as we showcase some of the best fish fries across the state. Joining me on the journey is food critic Dylan Dom. Tonight we're in York, Nebraska, a town of 7700 right along the interstate, and our fish fry will be at St. Joseph's Catholic Church, which is holding its 20th annual fish fry this year. We're here inside the building now with Joe Morris, who's one of the event organizers on the committee that's helping make all this possible. Got a big event tonight, I know, and there's a lot of different elements to what's going on. So there the are. inside is just part of that, though. Tell us about all the facets. We, uh, we have the uh, dining room, which we turn over about twice a night, typically. And then we also feature a drive through that's through our uh, back door here. And that's uh, about half of uh, everything we serve goes through the drive through every night. So, and we have a carry out. If someone's here, they can also pick up and carry out their meals. How many years have you been involved in helping make this possible? Oh, I've been uh, four or five years that I've been involved directly, and it's the uh, 20th year that we've been doing the fish fry here at St. Joe's. It's got to be pretty exciting to be celebrating 20 years of doing this and bringing the community together. I know it's not just York, though, that comes to this event, and a lot of the surrounding communities. All the surrounding communities come to it, and a lot of times we'll have friends and relatives and uh, Lincoln, Omaha, Grand Island and so forth, but uh, all the surrounding, we get to see uh, same people a lot of the times. They come back every week and we really appreciate that. So. Your most popular night, do you remember it well? Uh, how many people you were able to serve? Oh, we were well over 1,100 people, the, the biggest night, and we'll, we'll routinely plan for 1,000 people, except the first one. The first one is always a little bit uh, less, I guess, takes a while for people to get geared up but uh, and we're weather related a little bit but we typically plan for a thousand people a night. So. Where do the proceeds go from this event? Uh, everything uh, to do with the church and the school and basically we we turn it over to our uh, our pastor and then whatever needs he has he can use it for and we've done everything from help the gym floor to repair heating air conditioning and and so forth. So. I think we've seen a few of the kids helping out tonight too. We get the kids involved and we love that because their school and uh, they they uh, come in a lot of times the parents will be working and the kids come with them and you know it makes that a really a special event that way. When I called you to ask about coming out here to feature you you said this will be the best fish fry we'll come to. What makes this the best in your opinion? One of the, we, one of the we catch those fish ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> no those fish are, those fish are right. We, we thaw them out and we hand bread the fish every one and uh, and we take great care in that. And it's a secret recipe and uh, what we've perfected through time. And uh, But yeah, hand bread fish, it's not a batter, it's bread, hand bread. And then uh, the guys that cook it have been doing it a while, so they're pretty, uh, pretty adept at making it just right. There's a lot of these fish fries that happen across during the Lenten season across Nebraska, and it's not necessarily about the fish. You can get fish in a lot of places, but it's more about the community we're finding. Talk about that aspect of the fish fry that happens here in York. You know, we we involve, if you take the just the population of York and the amount of people we do, that would be a 14% if just York people came to it. But it is a community event. Uh, we look forward to seeing a lot of the same people come year in, year out, and, and several fish fries, and there's always that question, why don't you do it year round? And <laughs> it's a little bit of a challenge, but, uh, but and, and we ask them, they say, what do you like about it? And they say, it's, it's friendly, and they come for the food. So. Coleslaw and bread's handled here in this kitchen, and uh, we make up our coleslaw secret recipe, so don't, you know, don't get too close on that <laughs> But they, but they, uh, we literally make it all up uh, here for each fish fry. So, has the has the meal always been the same? Has it always it been has. potatoes and coleslaw? One of our uh, that's one of our mainstay is keep it the same. Sure. So we haven't varied much at all. And we also received the fish here on uh, Thursdays. We thaw it out and bread it here on okay. Friday morning to get it ready to go. And then we get out of the way so these ladies can get their thing done. So. We're slowing down some, but they're straining the oil, getting the fryers, and these fryers are moved in and out, and we set it up each Friday, because during the week, the kitchen is used for the school, of course, so right. we'll move all this out, clean it all up, put it away, and we'll do it again. This is how we, uh, fish gets taken back and forth. We'll fill the tub and take it to the distribution points. So.
How many how many roasters do you have to employ to, to keep all this warm? Well, we have about 30 of them, but the potatoes are done, and they'll take anywhere from 10 to uh, 18 roasters, okay. depending on what our estimate is for the amount of people. Wow. So. Yeah, this is the takeout area, so it's an assembly line process, goes down to the end, and we'll show you the runners in a moment. They come running in and shout the orders, and they've got it done by the time it gets there. And like I say, we'll, we'll do that in you know, under 15 seconds at times. Yeah. We'll have them prepared, ready to go out the door. So, an especially, an especially beautiful money taker that really does a wonderful <laughs> job, which would also be my wife. <laughs> <laughs> and typically, our uh, alley will be full. So, uh, but uh, runners come out and they run in and get what it is, get it in here, and you'll hear them yell in a moment what they want. By the time they turn around and come back out, they're ready to go. So, so who, who, who are all these people that help out? Who are all the runners? Are they all volunteers? All volunteers and uh, all local people, and most of them are parishioners. Some of them are just people that enjoy helping out. Sure. Do you come to the drive through every year? Or come every to the fish year. fry? Every yep. year. <laughs> what makes the fish here special? I don't know, it just tastes good. Tastes good. <laughs> do you come every Friday or do you, do you plan no, it out at certain no, ones we, you come to? Any time they have it, we, we come. All seven weeks of it. Yeah. Try to anyway. You got a quick drive through. You got your food already. Yeah. <laughs> you folks enjoy. Okay, thank, thank you. you guys. Uh, and this is our carry out area too. So if people call in and they want to pick up eight or ten meals or they come in and they want to take a couple home, they can go through here and we'll set them up the same deal. So okay. we'll have the drive through, the main line and our carry out in seconds area here. Wow. So all the same food. Right, yeah, so. pretty organized deal. Yeah. I think we're ready for some fish now. <laughs> we can finally eat? Yeah, we're finally digging in. <laughs> so we got potatoes, coleslaw, and the fish. Did you grab a slice yeah. of bread? I got some bread. You're using your fork, I'm huh? more of a of grab with your it's finger fine. kind of a guy. Didn't know we were so unrefined. <laughs> That's good fish. That's good fish. Well seasoned, breading is not too thick. Uh, not bad, not bad at all. Very fresh, flavorful. Scalloped potatoes, I'm a little biased. One of my favorite kinds of potatoes, so. <laughs> Very excited to see those uh, be part of the menu. I tell him it's going to be a bite. Did he say has the menu changed over the years, or did they start said, with one no, and he stick said, with he it? He said it's been the same every year. That's one of their sort of their trademarks is uh, keeping it the same. People know what to expect when they come. If it ain't broken, no need to fix it. Exactly. <laughs> this place, well-oiled machine, yes, comes to mind, exactly. and I think that describes their kitchen, their whole operation. Yep, exactly, and and it's not like they're you know. With the, the speed that they have, they're not sacrificing any quality. It's as good a fish as I've had, I think, at a, at a fish fry. So, Joe said they're using that high oleic soybean oil. The soybean board was telling me that adds to a little bit different of a flavor, and uh, the people who are using that uh, seem to really be enjoying it. All right, Dylan, let's wrap it up for St. Joseph in York. Final thoughts from you? Uh, very impressed overall. Great atmosphere here in the uh, in the school gym. Uh, great people, uh, just like you're, you, you find it. In, and in Nebraska town, I think that's what makes Nebraska so special. Um, and on top of that, great fish, great meal. Can't beat the fish. Delicious. That's right. Till next time, we'll see you back on another Fish Fry and Friday.